Hey, g'day everyone. What is going on? It is your favorite producer from Down Under, Jin, back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple yet really catchy sample for an artist such as Playboy Cardi or Uzi inside of FL Studio. If you are new here, would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button for me. And while you're at it, flick that little bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. Friendly reminder that I stream live over on Twitch as well, and recently it has been a lot of Pokemon. So if you do want to see me torture myself while I go for that thing called a shiny, uh, feel free to catch up with the shenanigans over there. But with that one being said, let's get into FL Studio and let's deconstruct this sample. Okay, so here we are inside of FL Studio, and as you can see, not much is happening with this. We have five elements. Now, if you're making a virtual sample for Playboy Cardi or Uzi, you're obviously going to need some really good virtual sounds. That's where Electra comes in. Now, the first preset with this one is the pad No Broke Boy. And all we are doing with this one is something really simple. Now, keep in mind, we are at a BPM of 170 and we are in the key of D minor. Keeping that one in mind, I decided to make a really, really simple pattern. I went down, you know, the Pierre Bourne method where it's just really simple melodies stacked on top of each other just to make it, you know, nice, lush, and really uh, spacey as well. So we start off with a typical D minor triad, which is the D, the F, and the A. We copy that one over again. Then to change it up a little bit, we bump that A up to the A sharp here. Copy and paste that one over again and again. But for the final bar, just to give it a little bit of variance, so it's not the exact same thing playing over and over again, instead of having it go to the A sharp up here, we actually change this F to an E and this D down to the C. And in context, we end up with something that sounds like so. As you can hear, really simple, really bouncy as well. And that preset having just that subtle reverb and delay built into the sound helps with that as well. The effects going on to this one, we keep it really simple because all we have is a Valhalla Vintage Verb, just mix on 19.3%, Decay 2.5, Pre-Delay on 0, Low Cut 120, then an EQ where we're getting rid of all of the low end, just so we don't have, you know, a little bit of uh, muddiness or a little bit of bleeding going into the low end. The next element with this sample, surprise, surprise, comes in from Electra. who would have thought, and the preset with this one is the Lead Pierre from the Ocean View Magnolia XP Bank, and all we're doing with this one something really simple. We start with the A, then we go up to A sharp, back down to the A. A sharp, back down to the A. Spoiler alert, it goes A sharp, back down to the A. Who would have thought? And then just to end it off, just to give it a little bit of variance, we actually drop down to the G. But in context, it sounds like so. Really nice lead with this one. Going on to the effects, we keep it really simple yet again. We just bring in a ping pong delay, where all we did is we changed the wet dry to 60%. A Valhalla Vintage Verb comes in, mix on 14.2, pre-delay on 0, decay 1.5, and a low cut of 90. Then just another EQ, just to get rid of all of the low ends and some of the highs, just to tame it a little bit. The next element, surprise, surprise, who would have thought? Comes from Electra. I have a feeling we're going to be saying this a lot. Uh, but yeah, the preset with this one is the ARP Ocean View from the Magnolia XP Bank by Ocean View. All we're doing with this one, something really simple. We have this D playing throughout the whole pattern until the very end where it drops down to the C. Then we just start a step between the A and the A sharp, A, A sharp, A, A sharp. Surprise, surprise, A. Who would have thought? But in context, it sounds like so. Now, this one has actually been put really far in the background, you know, playing faintly. And the effects, we just have half time with the mix on 30% and just an EQ getting rid of all of the low end, taming it down just a little bit. But it is in the background. You don't really hear this one as much. The next effect actually comes in from Serum. We're changing it up a little bit. And this one is just the West Coast lead. It is a preset that I have made myself. And if you do want to cop it, link to it will be down in the description where you guys can get it completely for free. All we're doing with this one is just putting in some accent notes. 
And what I mean by that is we have this D playing, then the D again, then for the final part, it drops down to this A. In context, it sounds like so. It kind of sounds a little bit like a mothership, like there's a UFO flying around and, you know, if you're to enter it, going back to like the old 1980s movies when they enter a UFO for the first time, you hear all that mechanical noise and it's all, you know, futuristic uh, equipment, futuristic, you know, technology, and you, ha you know, hear all these sounds everywhere. So I wanted to replicate that sound. So I uh, opened up Serum and I made that one. Going on to the final element comes in from Serum yet again, and this one is the Warping Moog preset. You want to cop this one? Link to it in the description. You can download it completely for free. And all we're doing with this one, something really simple. We're playing D, then D, then for the end, we're dropping it down to C. In context, it sounds like so. As you can hear with that bass, it's kind of evolving as well because the first hit doesn't sound like the second hit. The second hit, the filter envelope has actually been opened up a bit more, so it's actually allowing more through. It's one of my favorite bass presets that I have made. Yet again, if you do want to cop it, free download link in the description. But yeah, honestly, that is how you can easily make a really simple yet really bouncy sample for an artist such as Playboy Cardi or Uzi inside of FL Studio. If you are new here yet again, would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button for me. And while you're at it, flick that little bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. Friendly reminder again that I do stream live over on Twitch and it has been a lot of Pokemon. So if you do want to see this Australian torment himself while he is hunting a shiny, would greatly appreciate it if you uh, follow me over there as well. I go live 10 p.m. AEST, which is 7 a.m. Eastern. But with that one being said, thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you all in the next one.